with your girl PJ Dakota. We here want to say what show and today's guest is my girl Angie Mack. Right. What's up? What's my name? What's up? That's your name? That's my name. That's what they tell me. That's what they tell you. That's all what right, they right, say. Yeah. So how are y'all? So today we're here to talk about skating. Now I grew up on skating and maybe a lot of you guys grew up on skating, but she like the queen of it or whatever. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I'm a student of the game. I'm just a student of the game. Just a student of the game. And, of the game. Yeah. Um, but I remember me growing up skating outside, inside, wherever we could. It was a fun thing. And we ain't skating this age. Nah. Uh, we recently busted our ass trying to skate. <laughs> and I've been healing ever since. So, uh, yeah, if y'all see me with a small limp, that's because I've been skating. Um, but uh, Angie got a little bit more experience at the skating thing. She skate like butter. So we are hey. So I'm gonna ask you a couple of questions. The first question is, when did you start skating? Well, actually, I started skating. I was born in 1961, so I started skating in maybe 1966, I believe. Okay. And uh, the first place was a church. Oh, okay. Then. Uh, basement. Mm. And uh, because we, you know, we had recreational centers and that, but. Uh, they were only really geared geared towards you know older you know teenagers and whatnot. Right, right. So me being five six years old, I, I wasn't able to go. Mom wouldn't have me. Right. So right, uh, right, right. we could go to the church. So that's what we did. We went to the church. Okay. And we skated in the basement. And the first time I went, the space was too small on my feet, but I didn't want to tell nobody. Okay. So I took. I wouldn't take them off. So they put me in the car. I got skates on. Never had skates on in my life. They right. put me in the car. Yeah. They got me to the to the church. Yeah. And and they held my hand, of course, and, and got me all the way in. Yeah. And I sat there. And I just looked. You didn't skate? Mm -mm, I was in awe. I was in awe at this oh, thing. Oh wow. That, right, I was in awe at this thing called trio. And three people mm, skating. Together. When they were holding hand right. thing. Okay, okay. And, uh, I had a cousin named Rosemary. She had a best friend named Tanya. Boy, could she skate backwards, man. Mm. And so I was just I was I, sat there I just I was just in awe. Right. So I knew that that is what I wanted to do. I don't remember not one song played. I don't remember, <laughs> you know, uh, anybody else doing anything. I didn't even try to skate one time. I just wow. wanted to look at right. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. That's dope. That's right. dope. Now, I remember them, uh, them, the parties that would take place in the churches, the Halloween parties, all those type right. of things. So, yeah, right. oh, that's dope. That's dope. Um, you kind of, this next question kind of answers what you just said all in one, but it was like, what was special about it? As a, you know, mm -hmm. even as you got older. Right, you know, because, it, you know, when you get older, for me, uh, I'm in such heavy competition. Okay. Okay, heavy competition with myself. <clears throat> oh, okay. And, and what um, I'm saying here is, you know, after being in this for so long, mm -hmm. knowing the desire and the, 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 the lust I have for skating, you know, because it's personal. Okay. So, um, I can't compare that with anybody else's, you know, mm -hmm. you their know, journey, right, and, and, and so forth and so on. And I really wish no one would compare mine with it. But, you know, with that being said, um, that's what continually drives me being in, you know, competition with myself. And, and the music is such a key element to roller skating for me. Mm -hmm. Now, even though I can do it without the music, <clears throat> yeah. but with the music, it really adds an extra... Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's that extra um, you know, so that that gives it that 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 pure vibe. Okay, okay, okay. and um, that was one of my other questions was because we talked about it before, and there was like styles of music that's like catered to or mm -hmm. or as you, as you would say, certain skaters were only skate by certain songs. Well, you know, yes, and and so you know when we get in and and this is what makes skating first of all different from. United States skating from mm -hmm. other countries or whatever, whatever, you know, we do this thing a certain way. And depending on the city and state that you're from, mm -hmm. you usually adapt to the style of skating, which you are in that city or state. Okay. So when we get in our 20s and we migrate off to college yeah. or we move or mm -hmm. whatever, whatever, we take what we own with us. Okay. Okay. So. I skate a Detroit style of skating, but when I go to Chicago, mm -hmm. I'm still skating Detroit style of skating. Right, I'm right, amongst right. a bunch of, you know, JV yeah. skaters and, and that. Okay. And so it just makes the, the, the jail different. 
So now we find the camaraderie in people. Mm. Okay. Okay. So we have different elements to link us together mm -hmm. um, that allows us to enjoy stadium. So that that's one of the beautiful things about it. Nice, nice, nice. Um, you talked about like y'all. We were just at practice last week. <laughs> so okay. shout out to everybody that made it out to the first day back to skating, being right. open to the public. They said something. The line was around the building, y'all. I was really, really shocked at it. And um, anybody that know me, you know I do music. So we have incorporated music and skating as me and her as a project. And we have a single coming out uh, November 6th called Just Skate. And uh, so we are in preparation of, of launching this, this single and this whole movement. Um, because I learned that there's a movement, there's a skating movement that's always been there. Like I said, I was part of it, but I was, I wasn't, I wasn't doing the competitions. I was, you know, I was doing it for fun. I'm just skating, yeah, I'm going around 10,000 times and then you go home. But it's people that do this for a living and, or, you know, that's their thing. Um, so she coming in and she got this bag that got her skates in it. And, it, <laughs> and, and the wheels lighting up, dog. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. She's like, y'all, this is a special bag. And I'm like, it looked like it's special. This is like a lit up. And, and little do you know, I tried to get the lights to stop blinking in the wheels. You know, that is so discourse to me. It's like having a funky good time. Why are you so you know, funky good time, I, man? I'm on some woo 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 stuff. You know, I, I don't want to have a but funky I like, good time. But I like the fucking guitar okay. wheels, man. Hey. I was like, man, she stood out like, man, where Angie go? She went that way. <laughs> Look for the lights. So right. no. But right. no, but you you were saying even then that, that, that you had to be special to get that, that carrier. What, what's the story behind that again? Well, actually, um, it was the it was the, it's the skate boot. Uh, the the boot was handmade specially for me from my Um I'm not the only person that's done this for. Right, right, right. Um, but but uh, not too many people can say that though. Well, true that because I know no one can say that uh, they went to the I went to the Olympic arena mm -hmm. in Detroit and got fitted for these boots mm -hmm. uh, by a lady that does this nothing for just for ice skating only. Mm. And um, I was able to contact her, and she was happy to accommodate me, and she has taken care of me ever since. But she's the guru of boots, so, okay. so that everybody <laughs> would know that right. there's not a boot made that she doesn't have. Oh wow! Right, okay, right. See, so uh, something every day. I uh, specifically asked for a certain kind of boot, and um, she was able to call the the company and express what I what had conveyed wanted. to her. Right. Okay. And so, which made a totally different boot than anybody else's in the world. Wow. And so now I have that boot and I'm skating in it. And uh, I love the boot, you know. Um, mm -hmm. it, it's cool, but I just think that uh, it could have been, you know, uh, she did her part, but the, the part of the manufacturing, I had to send the boot back twice. Mm. Right. Uh, okay. Just looking at some visual things and I just wasn't pleased with. But uh, overall, you know, the next time we get a chance to do it, you know, um, get it just right, right. Huh? Get it just right. Get it just right. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. Um, but but it was the boot though. So it was about the boot, but not the bag. Cause I no, the bag is uh, actually the bag came from her. Oh, okay. So um, that's part of uh, this whole um, international thing because they they carry those bags uh, in the UK and different places over there. Okay. And so uh, we do have a lot of uh, artistic skaters that use those bags, but uh, you know. The type of skating I do, and, and it involves all of us, is called rhythm skating because mm. we do skate to the rhythm of what we hear. Ah, okay. Then if we don't skate to the rhythm of what we hear, we should be. Okay? <laughs> because okay. it, it, it becomes, a, um, it's not a dance. And that's what's so special about it, too. Skating is not dance. And see, big up to break skate. Uh, break skate is a group of skaters, and they incorporate a lot of break dance moves and so forth mm. and so on, you know, and man, nobody can beat them doing what they do. Okay. And it's a beautiful thing. And they, they work hard. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, and, and all that, they're very disciplined skaters. So, um, but uh, even though we're, we're rhythmic, dancing is not our key okay. thing that we do. We would okay. love to be able to maneuver our skates in a way that dictates the rhythm of the, 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 the beat. Okay. So, 
you know, that that's how all of that, you know, kind of takes place. So, okay, okay. Um, I learned something, uh, we were shooting a music video for the song, Just Gate, and um, I was gonna, you know, worst case is worst case. Nah, see, that's what I'm saying, you gotta, you gotta be in that to understand all that. And so, <clears throat> I've always skated in skates that were the, you said they were wood, didn't you? The uh, the rental, uh, uh, well, they look like wood. Yeah. Wheels, and they give you a little slide. Yeah, yeah. Right. So that was always the skates that we would buy when we went. But uh, uh, Rockin', Rockin' Richard. Rockin' Richard told me that we were supposed to skate outside with the metal skates. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. So you're talking about you're talking about the plate or the actual wheel? Because the wheels, the wheels, the wheels, no, the wheels are rubber wheels. Okay. Then. Okay. And those are outdoor wheels, polyurethane. You know. Okay. Then. We okay. Like that's use, what it was. Right. Okay. Then. We would like to use those for the outdoors because they can just take the rough, you know, the rough surfaces a little smoother. You know, just ah. make you have a little bit more fun than you normally would. Okay. See, skating outdoors is not as easy as it looks, and then it's not. Believe it or not, sometimes it's not as fun. So, <laughs> you know, uh, for the Just Skate video, you know, we were able to really just try to make it happen. I wanted the, uh, the footage just to be raw because there is no practicing. Yeah. Yeah, for that. You just have to do it. Uh, yeah. yeah. So, and that's what we did. So, we had a lot of fun doing it. Just a lot of fun. Just a lot of fun. Yeah, I don't, but now for me as a kid, though, man, skating outside was the thing, man. We was down alleys and over rocks and all kinds of stuff. You ain't thinking the 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 technical part of skating. Right. You just skating, you know. Well, see, we don't even thing. get technical until we see somebody that can do something that we can't. Mm. Now, if you love the art of roller skating, it will cause you to say, "Hey, sir, what's your name? Uh, can you teach me that?" Or, uh, hi, okay. hi, my name is Angie. Yes, ma'am. Uh, can you teach me that? <laughs> so that's when you really love skating. Okay. It, now, no, regardless of how good you are or how good you think you are. Right, right, right. Um, if you're not able to be taught anything, that that's that stipends the whole art of it. Mm. You know, because okay. it's just like you can cook pies real well, and I come and get your recipe, mm. and that recipe goes around and around and around. Where right. it's the same thing for skating. And when people don't get it, then we don't get it. Ah. Right. It, it, okay. it doesn't turn out to be great. If I wanted to be a JB skater, I need to go to, to a JB skater. Okay. You now, what's JB stuff? JB skaters is, is, is like the people from um, Chicago. Okay. And they, they don't lace their skate all the way up. The tongue hangs out. And oh. it used to be with a Brogaine boot. Yeah. But see, now they're using, uh, you know, really kind of cool boots, but yeah. not as uh, hard as our boots. You know, their okay. boots is a little bit more relaxed. Mm. And then that creates that style of skating. And JB, which is the James Brown, JB skating is really done to James Brown music. Oh, okay. Right. Gotcha. Now, they, gotcha. They, 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 they also cater to a lot of rap as well, you know. Okay. But uh, JB music, and they make it happen. You hear me? They yeah. make it happen. So um, big up to Darius DeBruz. Uh, and uh, he was one of the first guys that I'd ever seen do the JB skating to a prolific form, you know, to just, mm -hmm. just do it and just make it pop. Right. But then I went back and did my study. Okay. Okay, that research is something. So a brother named Calvin, though, who I really enjoy watching doing it, uh, I can see where, uh, you know, a lot of the JV skaters, you know, got their start through him. Okay. And, you know, the better you get, the more you, yeah. you add can build up on your yeah. own. Right. So it's, 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 it's really cool. We have St. Louis style of skating, uh, okay. uh, which is kind of similar to the JV, but a lot more smoother and laid back. St. Louis, they are so cool. Okay. And Detroit skating, to me, is more athletic. It being the most athletic skaters that I've seen. Okay. Okay. Uh, Constantly. Okay. For instance, the JB skaters, they do this thing, especially the girls, where they do a roll and split and they flip over their head and split. Okay, that's mm. cool. Okay. Uh, but uh, Detroit skaters, we're liable to roll at any time. We don't have to wait to the end of the session. You were ah, right. Okay. okay. They're, 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 you know, when you're watching a really good Michigan skater, Detroit Michigan skater, anyway. Yeah. 
they are the most athletic, rhythmic person you want to see because they're doing it all. Okay. And, and, and that's what's kept me, you know, with that style of skating. So even though I'm from Flint, Flint is how many miles from Detroit? Right. A four side. Right. Four side, whatever. So we, you know, were able to <clears> connect <throat> that together. There used to be a show back in the day called Rolling Funk. Yeah. And it used to come on Channel 50 in okay. Detroit. Uh -huh. So that's when we didn't have cable. I don't know if you right. guys know anything about that. <laughs> so we only had antennas when we just had to go home and, and put the aluminum foil oh, on yeah, the back of the TV, work. right? Yeah, yeah, make yeah. it work. So uh, <laughs> we were able to see other skating moves. And that's when we knew that it was something out there. We didn't know how to get to Detroit. We didn't have a car. Right. We were only 13, 14 years old. Yeah. But we knew something was coming. Sure enough, a skate rink was built in the inner city of Flint called yeah. Rolex. Mm -hmm. We met a young lady by the name of Virginia Ransom, and to this day, that not only is she my best friend, but she is still my skating coach. And now I have mm -hmm. two coaches. Now it may not look like it when I'm skating, <laughs> but I, I do. I have two coaches. We have a, mm -hmm. an artistic coach as well, Miss uh, Carlita. Uh, she has gotten us out there skating world class to skate against some of the best skaters in the world, okay. so that we can actually see what we need to do, you know. Mm -hmm. I think uh, a lot of skaters, you know, need to see other styles of skating so that they can know what's out there, just to know, you know. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, some of the skaters can pick it up and make it something of their own or, you know, you know, make it do what it do. Right. Uh, that's how we got the whole style of Detroit skating. Um, coming from artistic skating, they would only let... Um, people of color skate on certain mm, days and, and right. things of that nature. So yeah, you know, times change. Right, times have changed. <laughs> you got that right, buddy. So I know you were Black talking about <laughs> <laughs> um I know you talked about uh like you guys have a I call it a tour where you went like to different places like all the time before mm -hmm. before COVID came. Uh you guys were still I guess basically active in some form of fashion. Well yeah uh it's great uh um, website called Skate Group used to, uh, well, still do. Uh, they promote all the different parties all over. Uh, back in the day, uh, back in the 70s, um, early 80s, we used to, you know, can't wait to go skating on Wednesday. Can't yeah, wait. yeah. Well, now we can't wait to go skating Wednesday yeah. in Kansas. Or we can't wait to <laughs> yeah, go right. skating Wednesday in Texas or right. whatever, you know. Right, right. So, yeah, so every month, you know, uh, they have a party. Okay. And, uh, it just really used to be off the chain. And then I saw myself aging and I watched it, you know, another generation of skaters come in while the music changed and things mm -hmm. of that nature. And, you know, pretty much a change in other guards. You yeah. Know, I'm cool with all that. But what I'm not cool with <laughs> with that is when we fail to uh remember how we got where we are. Ah, okay. So, so you know, especially at some of our younger skaters, you know, are just totally prolific at what they do, but that's all they know. Mm, you don't, okay. you don't know where it came from to even make it further than what it is. Okay. So, you know, I just see, you know, a lack of discipline when it comes to the knowledge of, you know, skating and, okay. you know, how it starts and where it's going and what part they actually want to in induce into the opportunity. Okay. So, okay. You know. So like you said, some people just come to just let the hair down, you know, mm -hmm. just come and hear good music or just come and buy the whatever and and that's cool. And some people really do this. Yeah. 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 I've seen them. Right. Right. <laughs> so um you have a plan or you have this uh you know what even got us around to even doing the song Just Gate. You had this this vision or whatever. Um in the end, where, where do you want to see state? skating? Actually, you know, skating is a part of the American culture, you know, like mm -hmm. apple pie, Chevrolet, and roller skating. <laughs> right, 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 right. That's all we really know. But right. And um, at the end of the day, this is all we do. When we say just stay, just stay. Yeah. Leave your egos wherever you put them at, wherever you do them, and just skate and allow people to absorb that energy. Okay. You know, to 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 be able to grasp the concept of it, and skating is what it is. It is a nice, clean form of exercise. Uh, you can't live without it. We 
have to exercise, we need to exercise, whether it's skating, running, jogging, um, rollerblade, um, anything got to do with wheels. Right. Just get on it. Yeah. Make it happen. Right. And that's what the concept of just skating is. Okay. okay, it's just a drama-free zone, man. You're just coming and doing your thing. You're just bugging out, just doing you, you know, okay. staying off the way. Right. That's what we do. Exactly. Right. right. All right, well, thank you so much for coming on my show no, to right. talking about skating and woo, 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 woo. <laughs> they can't get no sample of the song, man, until hey, November hey, 6th, hey, man. Hey, so hey. You guys be looking out. I will be posting it. I am um, marketing and advertising right now, so I hope you guys can see in the little sponsored po- uh, advertising on your Facebook pages. Um, November 6th is the day we drop the single, Just Skate. The video will follow soon after. It's your PJ Dakota. I'm here with Angie Mack. Skate, skate, skate. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's that time, time for us to.